Ngayon po sa inyong lahat, ako po si G. Tonji mula sa Los Angeles, California. Welcome to Kababayan Today, the only daily talk show for Filipinos here in America that's broadcast in Los Angeles and Hawaii. And now, we'd like to introduce to you uh, uh, Gabe Tayao. He is a multi-awarded Filipino-Chinese karting champion who's currently the reigning 2015 GWA International Carter of the Year. Panoorin natin to. Hi, I'm Gabe Cabrera, and I'm a professional racing driver. I've been racing for the past five years now, and to me, racing is everything. passion and just gives me an adrenaline rush and I like the feeling of competitiveness, competing with other people and the feeling of winning. It's just the best. Like, it's indescribable. Like uh, when you cross the finish line after like weeks of just preparation at the gym, at the racetrack and just like all the mental preparation it just seems so worth it and like feels so um, I don't know, I can't, I can't explain it, it's just amazing when you cross the finish line and get on the podium, get the trophy and just like, you know, celebrate. <laughs> Winning, I can't describe it, it's just the best feeling in the world, it's indescribable. Five years to most people seems like a really long time. But when you're racing, you go through a lot and it seems really short. In 2014, I was Junior Carter of the Year. But in 2015, that was my winning year. I was Carter of the Year and International Carter of the Year. And all those victories just keeps me more determined to push harder. Although I'm having the time of my life with karting, there's one major point in all this, and that is to be a Formula One driver. And with the support of my family, my friends, and my sponsors, I'm confident that that dream of mine can become a reality. Gabe Cabrera, racing driver. Today in Los Angeles, Gabe Tayo is with us. Hey, Gabe, what's up? Um, good. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. 
All right, we are very excited to talk to Gabe. He is joining us here in Los Angeles. Pagbalik natin. We'll get to know about him here on our show. We'll be right back. Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today at kasama natin si Gabe Dayao, who is a multi-awarded Filipino-Chinese karting champion who is currently the reigning 2015 GWA International Carter of the Year and likewise has garnered several podium wins all around Asia during his five years of karting. After Marlon, Marlon Stock, Stockinger, he is the Philippines' latest driver to level up to Formula Cars. He is here joining us in Los Angeles. Gabe, pakama. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, before we get started, ilan taon ka na? Uh, 16. Which means you started at what age? 11. 11, 11. years old. Uh, buti, pinayagan ka magmaneho ng 11 years old. Yeah. Um, my mom, at first, she was kind of skeptical about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I pa first paano, nagsimula? paano nagsimula? How did you get into uh, karting? Actually, I was about seven years old. My uncle Kevin brought me to this little kart track back in the Philippines. Then, um, yeah, I told him that I wanted to become a race car driver at seven, but I didn't compete professionally until I was 11 because I joined the scholarship program back in Manila. Okay, so and wait a minute. At seven years old, you were already behind the wheel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ba illegal yon? <laughs> no, 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 a car, a car, not a, a car. Cart. Yeah. Okay, but now you're driving a car. What's yeah. what's the big difference? Explain mo sa mga kababayan natin yung yung malaking difference ng cart sa kotse. Well, it's a lot more faster. Um, there's a lot more G's, so it's more physical. G's? G's. Ako? More me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, um, um, forces, like uh, gravity and okay, everything. Okay, and so yeah. this is uh, footage that was just taken recently. Mm. Where were you? I was in Sonoma. Okay, yeah. that's up north from Los Angeles, here mm. in California. Yeah. Ang ganda naman ng kotse mo. Yeah. <laughs> it was a fun car to drive. It was also pretty fast. Okay, then, so where did the car come from? Did you bring that car from Manila or they had them here? Uh, they had them here. So okay. I just came here to test. Okay, so what does it take to get to this level, Gabe? It takes a lot of hard work, preparation, of course, because, you know, you can't just jump into this sport. You need, it's a progressive sport, so you need to start from the bottom and just, you know, progress over the years. Okay, and what kind of dedication in terms of time is needed to be able to progress at these levels? How often do you train? Almost every day, actually, at the gym. Then, if I'm not at the gym, well, I'm at home and I just do the training at home also. So, explain to us, bakit mo kailangan mag-gym kung nakaupo ka lang? Actually, a lot of people tend to compare a racing car to a normal car. But the way the racing car works is there's no power steering, so hindi uh, magaan. Is, is that uh -oh. the correct word? So, powis steering. Yeah, powis steering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you mean to say when you're driving that car, you have to, you have to be strong enough yeah. to be able to turn that wheel? Yeah. Kung hindi, buhay ang kapalit mo. Yeah. And also, there's G's, G forces that you have to take into account. So, the highest G's that I can reach in that car I just tested was about three, three G's. So that's almost like a jet plane, actually. Yeah. Cause you're going really fast. Yeah. It Let's can... talk about speed numbers. Gano ka bilis? 120 miles per hour. Wait a minute. That's illegal, isn't it? No, it's, <laughs> in, the, it's, it's in the race trap, so okay, you, you so don't have to worry. Okay. What is this um, desire for speed? Where does that come from? Well, uh, it's. I just wanted to be a race car driver since I was small, since I was young. And you know, I just like the adrenaline rush and the feeling of competition, competing with others, you know. I'm a pretty competitive kid, mm -hmm. but yeah, that, those are one of the reasons why I've always wanted to, you know, be a race car driver. Okay, you're only 16, Gabe, and already you have progressed to the level where you're really, you know, you get to come to Sonoma mm. here in California and test why is it such a big deal? Well, not a lot of Filipino race car drivers move up to Formula cars, so this is like, um, it's big news back home because we've only had a number of people who've moved up to Formula cars, and one of them was, yeah, Marlon Sockinger. And, well, hopefully I can be the next one, and I am the next one. Um, 
So hopefully I can do a good job, make results in the next year uh, when I race. Okay, so we'll find out here on Kababayan today how we as Kababayans can support Gabe Tayao to really achieve his dream of becoming the next Formula One uh, race car driver here, um, not just here, but all over the world, right? Supportahan natin ang ating Kababayan. We'll be right back with Gabe Tayao. Welcome back to Kababayan Today, coming to you from Los Angeles. My name is G Tanji, and we are talking to Gabe Tayao here on our show. He is a race car driver, only 16 years old, and is fast becoming one of the best uh, Filipino-American race car drivers out there. So, Gabe, thank you so much for joining us here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about this sport. Let's face it. Race car driving, mm -hmm. bang! Hobby lang ba yan ng mayaman? A lot of people um, get the wrong idea on what racing is. It's not, um, I mean, it can be a hobby, but if you... But this is a profession for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a profession. Like, some people can just um, take it as a hobby, you know, weekend, uh, weekend racers, that's what they call it, I think. Right. Um, yeah, they just go to the racetrack on the weekend, drive around, go home. But to me, um, racing, it's, you know, everything for me. You know, I, I want to be the, you know, a Formula One driver, the first Filipino Formula One driver. I know it's a big dream, but, you know, uh, you can always try. Absolutely. Okay, what does it mean to be a Formula One driver? Uh, as a uh, you know, as a profession, uh, will you get paid to do this, or you actually have sponsors that will sponsor you so that you can compete and race? How does it work? Um, eventually, you can get paid, but right now, yeah, you, you need sponsors like Victoria Court. Yeah, they're supporting me this year uh, to run in the Formula Four series in Malaysia. So. One of the races we're going to have in that series is a support race for Formula One. So the same weekend they're going to have a Formula One race in Malaysia is the same weekend we're going to have a race also. So, you know, um, we're going to be racing somewhat with them. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, um, Sea Oil is one of my big sponsors also. Um, DC and Gold's Gym, those are one of my big sponsors back home. Okay, only 16, 16 years old and already sponsored by all these companies and corporations who really believe in your talent. How important is it to have sponsors? If someone were to try to do this on their own, what are the costs involved? Mahirap ba? I mean, I'm sure it's not cheap to be, oh. you know, to pursue a dream. You have to really, you know, train, put in the effort, that all takes a lot of time and money. Mm -hmm. oh. So one of the costs are just the run in the series. It's about maybe in peso, it's about a million pesos. What? Yeah. And just to join? Yeah, just to join. And that's abroad. But the cost of the cart alone can reach up to 500,000 pesos. Then entry fees twenty five. You have to pay for your own gas, um, your tires, and you know there's just a lot of there's a lot of costs involved. Yeah, especially in cars now that I'm moving up, a single car. I, I know the cost in America it's about fifty thousand dollars just for one car, and to join the series in peso it's about three million. Okay, three million so. Uh, needless to say, it mahal. makes uh, oh, <laughs> mahal uh, ipursu ang dream mo. Yeah. But I know that your parents are making it happen for you. How much uh, support do they play in this uh, dream of yours to really go for it? They, they've given me a lot of support, a lot of moral support, because it's not an easy sport to be in. Um, you need a lot of mental preparation. There's a lot of obstacles and barriers you have to go through. It's just like all the stress you have to undergo in the race, just thinking about, oh, what am I going to do with the car on the next session? How can I improve? Um, how fast is the guy in second? Or like that. So there's a lot of mental preparation. And, you know, um, they've really prepared me for that. They've given me a lot of financial support also at the start because you need a lot of experience and you need to learn a lot. You can't just be... Um, 
how do you say? You can't be racing in one place. You need to go around, just right. like I've Make been racing in Asia. Right. So you you need the experience. Yeah. Therefore, you need to go to different race tracks. Mm -hmm. You need to travel the world yeah. and experience everything, so that it just adds to yeah. you know to your experience on yeah. the track, deba. Right? Okay. But as a 16 year old, besides racing, I know racing is your life. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure you also go to school yeah. and you also worry about the things that every 16 year old worries about like how am I gonna ask that girl to go out with me you know <laughs> do you have time for regular teenager things um five days a week from seven to four it's pretty normal for me I'm just a normal kid at school is trying to pass his, his grades um, yeah but what grade are you in uh, grade 11 okay. I'm incoming uh, 12th grade. Okay, yeah. so an incoming senior, yes, almost senior. almost graduating high school. What are your plans for college? Well, for college, hopefully I want to study here in the States because I've seen a lot, of, a lot of universities here and, you know, I like their program. Okay, well, all I can say is hopefully there is a college out there that actually will sponsor race car <laughs> drivers. Wouldn't that be the, yeah, best, that would be really the nice. best situation, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be right back here on Kababayan Today. Kasama pa rin natin si Gabe Tayo. Kasama natin si Gabe Tayo dito sa Kababayan today in Los Angeles. We were just talking about his high school life. He will soon be in college, but his dream is to come here to the United States, pursue his higher education here, and really uh, make it to Formula One yeah. as a race car driver. How can we Kababayan support you, Gabe, in this big dream of yours? So to all my Kababayans, you can follow me on Facebook, Gabe Tayo. My Instagram, Gabe Tayo also. So you can follow all my races and everything there. And yeah, you can just keep yourself updated on what's new with what I'm doing mm -hmm. and all my races. Okay, cool. And then also, I know that, you know, um, you just went to Sonoma. Share with us that experience and how you think that's opened your eyes up more to to what it takes to really compete um, in on the world platform in terms of racing yeah so I've been racing in Asia for about five years so what my mentality was just to keep winning so to attract sponsors scouts from different teams just to sponsor me to race and extend my career but since I came here to Sonoma I got a better idea on what it takes to be a real race car driver. You need a lot of market, you, can, you need to market yourself more mm -hmm. and you know, um, be more mature. And you know, it's not just about being a good driver or being fast. You need to be a well-rounded person even outside the track. Okay, so besides racing and going to school, mm -hmm. what's your favorite hobby? Um, well, Mahilig ba kumanta si Gabe? Mahilig bang sumayaw? Ano pang ginagawa mo besides just racing? Um, you know, just stay at home, read a book, listen to music. What What's on your iPod right now? Um, actually Spotify. I listen to a lot of um, chill music, you know, acoustic. Really? I would think that because, you know, you're a racer, you're into really high energy kind of music, um, you know, EDM, electronic uh, dance music. When, when, I, when I work out, yeah, I, I use EDM, uh, EDM music, but when I'm at home, yeah, I just use chill music, acoustic stuff, yeah. Okay, so as a 16-year-old living in the Philippines, mm -hmm. uh, what can you share to all the Kababayans that are here that are your age, that are growing up essentially as Filipinos here in America? What do you think the main difference is you living in the Philippines? You just hear you get a better idea and you, you have better opportunities here. Um, back in the Philippines, it's pretty hard actually to you know <coughs> grow up and get better opportunities here it's you know more open and you know everyone here is like uh, how do you say they're a bit more welcoming mm -hmm. yeah and yeah you know so there's a lot of competition needless to say in the Philippines yeah because it's such a smaller circle right yeah so kilala mo lahat ng tao in that racing yeah. world yeah but also that brings on a lot of competition mm -hmm. and sometimes not as supportive don't you agree yeah with that? yeah yeah it's 
a bit. Yeah. Okay, but you, you're doing it and you're pursuing your passion and Sonoma is just one small step when you look back on your career yeah. when you're much older. Gabe, I hope that you'll keep in touch with us yeah. para masabi natin sa lahat ng mga kababayan kung anong nangyayari. Uh, last minute advice for people who want to pursue racing just like you. Well, if you want to pursue racing, if ever, it's a really big commitment. You need to commit a lot of time, effort, and you know, um, you really need to have your whole family there, actually. Your family needs to really support you because it's not a sport where you can just jump in by yourself. Your family needs to give you a, a lot of, not exactly, I'm not saying um, you need to spend a lot, but you know, your family needs to be there to back you and help you. Okay, and speaking of family, I know your family came here with yeah. you today. They're not, you can't see them because they're very private people. But what is your message to your family that really, you know, sacrifice a lot so that you can really pursue your dreams? I'd like to thank everyone in my family because, you know, they've been so supportive over the five years that I've been racing. I know it's a pretty dangerous sport to be in, but you know. Yeah, if I was your mom, I'd be like, Nako, I'm not, I'm not, Nako. Every time you would race, I'd be like, hey, I can't look. I'm sure that, you know, um, your mom has a lot of confidence in you, but every mother, I'm sure, would be very nervous. So I, I'd like to say thank you to Karen, uh, your mom, who really supports you in this big endeavor. Yeah. All right. And I know your Lola's watching too. Greet her naman. Yeah. Hi, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad's here also. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, Gabe, shake your hand. Good luck to you. Right, thank you. We believe in you and we will be rooting for you, all of us Kababayans here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. All thank right. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. At yan si Gabe Dayao. Supportahan po natin siya, mga Kababayan. Let's follow his career. And thank you so much for joining us here on Kababayan Today. Salamat po. Bye.